So I just wanted to do a video of the old K8200 printer that Simon and myself purchased together and built together before I disassemble it because I'm going to use the parts for something called a Fusebox 2 which is a Core XY printer. Um, and I actually surprisingly be able to use a lot of parts from this like all of the extrusion, the bed is perfect size, um, this fuse box uses a lot of these rods and bearings so um, this I will reuse um, yeah I don't know heaps like you know the steppers so um, most of this will not go to waste it will yeah surprisingly you can you can make a core XY out of most of, most of this stuff um, I have to buy a new board because this is an old Arduino based board um, yeah a few other things but yeah but basically uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of go over the changes that we made from the stock KD200. Um, <coughs> I've got this Z-axis mount, which is custom. I've got this, which is custom. Um, the original KD200 KD had like a, um, just like an M8, like, um, threaded rod, like, and, and, and like a regular nut kind of thing. Um, but I more recently upgraded this to an actual lead screw, so that helped a lot. Um, what else did we do? Um, that's not standard, that extruder. Um, got this nice part cooler. That worked really well. Um, step motor with, um, PID control, so it doesn't lose steps. Uh, upgraded belts to GT2 because the original belts were, I don't know, not as accurate. Um, and I think I may have even gone smaller on the, I think it's like a 20T pulley, which might have been a bit smaller than, I don't know. Either way, it was an upgrade. Um, what else have we got? Got some cork under the heated bed. I'm pretty sure Simon did that one. Um, that motor there is smaller than stock because I wanted to reduce the weight that was kind of moving across because, oh that's funny, when you go like that it powers up the board and the fan spins. Um, yeah, because I wanted to reduce the weight, the moving weight because this design is, I don't know, uh, interesting to say the least I suppose in the sense that the whole bed moves. It's cool, but um, yeah, I mean, obviously there's a lot of weight to move around, so from memory it was losing steps in the X and Y axis, so yeah, that's why I got this, and reduced the weight. Um, what else did we do? Made a spool holder. That was cool. Um, that's not standard from memory. Um, that must be about it. I did put this here, um, with the thought of maybe putting a bracket down here. I don't know, just because, uh, because there's the lead screw on that side and there's nothing over here. This moves up and down a fair bit. So I was kind of working out a possible way to brace that. Um, it would really have been better to put a lead screw on both sides, which I did consider, but... At this point, this is going to get turned into a much better machine. So that's that. <clears throat>